Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to be looking at how to control the layers for the report templates. And I'm talking about the assembly sheet, the wall elevations, and the part sheet. So let me go to the plan view and I'm simply going to put a wall and put a cabinet on that wall. At this point I simply want to create an assembly sheet for this cabinet so I go to reports and I click on assembly sheet. I'm going to click the standard base. This template is fine and I can, I'm going to send to the drawings page. Of course you can print to your printer or to a PDF if you have PDF software installed. But just to make it easy today I'm going to send it to the drawings page. So let's go look at the drawings and see what we got. As you can see we have the image here and we have the dimensions around it. We have the labels on the inside. As you know this image itself is being brought in from the assembly editor. And let me take you back there. We'll go into the editor and this is where it's bringing this image from. Um, as you can see though the the dimensions are different and that's because the layers are not controlled from here they're controlled from the reports page. Let me show that to you. Let's go look at that drawing page one more time and as you can see I don't like the tails on these dimensions so I want to take that off and I also want to add architectural swings so that I know which way these doors are swinging. So if I go to reports I'm going to right click with my, with my mouse and go to properties and here are the layers that are controlling these templates. So the first thing I want to do is it, it's a little bit hard to see. I hope you can see it on my monitor. The shop annotations is on because this little printer icon is yellow but I want to edit it so that I can add the architectural hinges to it or the, the way the doors are going to swing. Also for the dimensions I'm going to edit those because I don't like that little tail that runs on there. So now let's go and send this again to the drawing page. And we'll go to the drawings, look at that other sheet, and there you can see it. We've added the architectural or door swings and we've taken away the little tail that was being applied to the dimensions. So this is where you control the layers for the assembly sheet, the wall elevations, and the part sheet. This completes today's training movie. I would like to remind you of your training options. The help files are available within each Cabinet Vision product. The eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and features a technician monitored forum. Regional training classes are available so please contact your customer service representative for the classes in your area. If you would like someone to come on site to your location and train your team, this can be arranged. Online training is a very convenient method for training over the internet. The e-learning training series is a series of topics which you can purchase online and download for immediate use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.